Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Bits Predators here and welcome to the return of PCH Builds. And to this video, I'm gonna show you the Zara Type Zara Type X Mark V, which is supposed to be like a, a offshore beacon, uh, offshore vessel with a, a times 20 cannon and a a torpedo torpedoes on the uh, on the stern, so it could take down some uh, quite big ships and and two single uh, crossbow machine guns on its uh, port and starboard side. And I know um, that the Chroma, the Chroma update has finally came out, and I haven't tried some of its. Um, a new automation block. So what about this ship? Like as you can see here, uh, yet again it has a powerful gun and some two torpedoes on its stern, so it could take down some bigger ships. And there's a little bit of problem from the torpedo because uh, sometimes uh, <coughs> uh, this tor torpedo wants to jam, which which is a very big problem in this one because. Um, there's some moment that it won't launch, and as you can see here, it cannot launch, it's just stuck. We don't like that, so uh, what I'm gonna do here is just to move just a little bit. Okay, there we go, it looks like it's ready to come out, and there we go. So, yeah, uh, also, I have uh, some tip for this torpedo how to. Auto launch it very properly. Uh, first, uh, yet again, for what I did before, uh, let me try it again. <coughs> uh, for to use the torpedo much more efficient is this. Uh, uh, first, uh, <coughs> press press the launch button and turn it off once it land on the water and now when when the torpedo is finally calm but in this case that the torpedo having a, a little bit of struggle because of the waves but if you see this one a little bit calm this is the time you're gonna turn it off but make sure that it won't gonna it won't gonna lose its momentum because it will lose its momentum it's like uh, it, it destroy its purpose, but at least it still works. As you can see here, uh, this torpedo is a little bit fast. As you can see here, it it jumps like a, a dolphin, <laughs> and it's quite rare for a, a torpedo. But yeah, this this is the boat that have been made, have been made before. This boat was from the gen was made from January first, which is very nice. This is like my uh, very first creation in January one uh, in the 2020, and to see here uh, a little bit, a little bit nice, a little bit epic, and it has a powerful gun, and yeah. So now uh, I'm gonna bring some test target okay now guys uh, we have our test targets here as you can see here it uses the the much more smaller caliber in this one and also for fun we can we give it a, a iron sight so it could also attack because of the wave now we're gonna use the torpedo to make sure we we can uh, strike strike him much more better because this thing is just slow this is slow boat and make sure we hit them a much more better accuracy and now we're gonna launch there 
you go, it, it jumped like a, a dolphin, now he, he's gonna hit its target, I hope so. <coughs> well, I hope it hit its target now. Miss. Now we have a miss, but don't worry. Because we have a other second torpedoes just to kill this one one small target. Launch the torpedo. And now, just a one shot of this torpedo, the ship is dead. Kaboom. So it's here with just one shot. Because I because you already know that this boat has a lot of explosives inside. That's why you can only get like a one shot kill. I know it's cheating but you know for much more explosions it is it's even much more interesting okay now guys this is the mark 6 as you can see here it still, does, still looks similar to the first one but as you take a closer look because this one has much more improvements from, from the first one because this one has a much more better mass it has the uh, the funnel and some dual crossbow machine guns uh, I know it's a little bit boring boring with this one because I really just modified it and just improved its design and that's all I know it's a little bit lazy but you know uh, the, the first one is is much more boring because uh, it don't it don't have much features and for, and for this one it still has no feature only the the tower and the dual crossbow machine guns and take a look at that uh, we have our targets now and now let's go now let's go for a full straight at the head sorry for a slow computer by the way even though I had the decent computer my computer is still slow but screw this I really want to feature these boats uh, one simple job with this one is thus we need to hit that target much more accurate because I know the the, the times 20 kind of this uh, this boat is much more harder to aim because it don't have a iron sight I really understand that why because it's so hard to aim but we still gonna do our best just to aim this uh, one powerful gun to a a weak boat, and it's kind of hard to aim because we're moving faster than the than the boat itself. Uh, make sure that we hit them much more accurate. Fire! Did we hit him? There's a little bit of damage, but. We didn't detonate one of its explosives, which is uh, very good for them, but they lost a lot of buoyancy, and for them it's very bad. But for us, let's continue. Let's hit them with a much more nasty hit. Okay, let's decrease our speed to get a much more accurate hit. Make sure we hit hit them hit them with fire fire. There we go. Here goes the explosive. So yeah, uh, nothing changed. Uh, still your same powerful boat. Uh, it has a times he has a times twenty cannon and and some dual crossbow machine guns and a better mass and a funnel that's all all it had it's still the same boat but the mark 7 is much far more different than the 
than the two so now i'm gonna show him right now okay guys so now we have the mark 7 as you can see here uh it's they had no, no change but if you notice this one uh it's gone become smaller <laughs> because uh this one has a times has a stabilizer as you can see you, you can see this from every uh, er early times I made before and also if you ever look the the Shrek got swag part 5 video on the on a previous BCH hangouts uh, you, you notice this turret it's from that tank that I made before so yeah um, a little bit a little bit a little bit noticeable uh, and also same thing here's the here's the the one that carries the tow missiles for now for now on there are now the uh so for what we gonna call as a uh, cruise missile they're called as light cruise missiles because uh, they're not that very powerful they're they're just gonna give their their enemies a much more uh, much more burning stuff on their on their ship so yeah uh, for them it's very bad but for us it's very epic sorry power syndicate for saying epic so anyway uh, since the this ship is a little bit powerful so we bring a, a much more powerful target so now let's begin the the test run of our new boats or should I say the modified boats I made before <laughs> now let's begin okay since uh, that that one boat is a little bit fast so um, what we're gonna do is to to be to make we need to be a little bit closer for them as much as possible so we could fire our uh, times times 17 uh, I mean times 7 cannons with a stabilizer because if this ship has a stabilizer it could shoot much more accurate and it looks like a you know I don't know <laughs> but anyway yeah uh, it's a it's just your ordinary speedboat uh, uh, one big boat with some cannons on it and that ki kill every kind of ships uh, we need to get near that Oh, wrong, wrong turn, wrong turn, wrong turn. We need to have a much more better turn. Uh, there's a little bit of problem with this one because uh, this one is actually a little bit unstable when, when you're going for it. Kind of this turn, it, it's hard to do. But now, since we're now on, on target, now we're, we're ready for for burst fire make sure that we're gonna damage damage her a lot so now prepare for for rapid rapid fire see here since we hit we kind of hit them uh, we hit its bridge we I don't know which one it did I hit oh yeah the, the tower and I think there's much more on that and right, now we're gonna go for a for slow slow up straight straight ahead we make sure that we're gonna do a little bit of <coughs> boom from the from the ship. Now we're we're not in a much more accurate course. Fire, 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 fire. There we go. We we give give the ship some damage. 
now we let's go for our, uh, for our full straight ahead. full straight ahead you know what the reasons why I get so interested on boats right now because of World of Warships it's like I've been playing for that for about a, a couple of hours and I really get addicted on it because here, here's the one thing why I kind of get addicted with it because uh, uh, World of Warships grind system is easy as you can see here we blow up its explosives which is nice and now for fun though let's for our let's fire our cruise missiles so yeah yet again uh, uh, World of Warships grand system was easy because you can only take like a couple of days to get a one new ship it depends on what kind of tier you're using uh, but for this case we're just gonna do some one oops it's so close that's a little bit of a problem with this one because this one is a little bit unstable to use. You need to have a lot of studies in it. And now, kaboom! Oh my god! Yep, uh, the ship turned into smithereens, and which is nice. And also, good for this, for these two. They're absolutely power powerful, majestic weapons there. They're kind of with one of my innovative weaponry in Besiege, and but they're not quite effective as a anti-aircraft missiles because of their awful, awful steer. See here, we almost hit him, but it didn't hit through. I know there's more. Anyway, so yeah. Uh, this is the end of the Zard Type 7 because uh, I mean Zard Type X because uh, from from its next tech line the, the there will be have the uh, Type 11 which that one is much more advanced looking because this one is like came from the uh, let's say uh, 1970. From 1970s, I guess, join join from the Cold War. As you can see here, all of its weaponry are much more advanced now. They have the cruise missiles. They had the uh, <coughs> they had a uh, a nice uh, main gun with a stabilizer on it, which very very sweet, and still use the the same. Same design from the type from the bare old type X. So yeah, uh, let's go for the type 11. Okay, now guys, we came back from the present, and now we had the type 11, type 11 A because uh, this is will be the the first variant of the of the type 11 because there was a plan I I want to give to this. Uh, boat. I want to give this boat a a nice, a nice powerful cruise missiles here. Uh, but I'm never gonna change this one and also improve its uh, heat heat rate. By the way, this one is a heat rate. I bring it. I bring it back because uh, uh, fire is the most powerful weapon in Besiege Vanilla, and nobody, nobody could ever. Uh, defeated except for a, uh, a vacuum missile with a 1000 times power <laughs> so yeah um, as you can see here this is the the rate the heat ray this is the main gun it's still one times 20 kind of no stabilizer but it has a much more better uh, it has a much more better gun system as you can see here it has a iron sight right here uh, so, so in that case we could hit this one much more accurate so let's go for a firing test see 
go right through. So yeah, he has a much more uh, better times to medic cannon and a two cruise missile. But there's a reason why it's only two because this two cruise missile could take down just one ship or rip a ship apart because they're quite powerful as as you can see here. I'm gonna strike one I'm gonna strike one of or I mean my own ship. So yeah uh, now we launch our cruise missile. So now as you can see here uh, I'm gonna strike one of my non-explosive parts on the ship or this one the bow as you see here this is one of the toughest one and take a look at that it it ripped the ship apart kinda as you can see here it still it still has its one piece <laughs> this one so yeah uh, a little bit disappointed from the cruise missile I thought they're quite powerful enough to take it down but still it's a one powerful cruise missile that's why that's why it's only two also also guys uh, this boat is quite fast also it has a much much more fastest fabric speed as you can see here that's because of its uh, unique style of steer steering system like if you ever take it down, take it out on the water, as you can see here at the bottom, it has this extra rudder on, on the bottom. As you, as you, as for the people who knows about boats or ships, uh, you're gonna think about that. That's why you put a extra rudder on a on a boat since you had your own, since you had the the unique steering stuff on your on your boat like based on the stern <laughs> um, because I want to I, I want to make it more unique let's see it's very fast but there's a one problem of this boat like if you stop like this you can explain like this like the drift it has some a little bit of drift and we don't like that and there was a moment that you, you can't even steer enough because of that. Okay. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, this will be a much more laggy laggy part of the video. Uh, because here I loaded some three targets. One simple target at the at the starboard side. One one target from the port side and one big ship big ship on the on the stern so now uh, let's go for the let's go on the on the left side and let's hunt hunt her down but first we need to go for a much more smaller approach because um, we can't aim very accurately if we just do if we choose to go full straight ahead because it, it will make your your accuracy effectiveness much lower there you go guys target on site now let's kill this kill this boat and make sure that we hit her right right through fire I think we didn't do any damage with it, but we're still gonna try. The waves just drops our accuracy. No damage. Oh, there you go. We hit him, but a little bit. We need to turn and stop the engine completely. Hmm. 
Okay, it's just a little bit of struggle here because because of the waves this makes your gun inaccurate. Now uh, make sure it is a big hit. No. <coughs> it dropped its accuracy. But I'm sure we're we're gonna kill it. Uh, sure it's a hit. There you go. One boat down and let's go for the second one. Alright people, I'm we we're, we're gonna go for a one for one full straight ahead here because I want this one for one quick kill. We need to turn our turret much faster but unfortunately the turret turns very slowly because if you want your accuracy much be much better, uh, you need to slow it down. Maybe one day I could make a one proper stabilizer too, but not right now because I, ha I don't have I don't have much time to do it. Okay, here we go, guys. We're almost there for them. We're gonna kill their. We're gonna sunk their boat. Fire. Okay, just a little bit of penetration. Fire. Target destroyed and stop the engine completely because we're gonna go for the second attack. We're gonna struck this one target over here. Let's let's go for the tip of this of this cruise missile and hit it. Uh, we're getting a lot of time here, so now prepare for it. we finally get the target target acquired. Ready for launch. Fire! go close to the target we're gonna hit him and kaboom there you go what we kind of rip the ship apart just like in the Titanic we cut it in half only what's left was the was the bridge and the second bridge and now they're dead now so yeah uh, we killed them all kinda and this one is for me is one of my best attack boat I ever made because of its shape as you could take a look at it they look modern um, even if you go for the Inside of the inside of the bridge, I can see, see here they had the mo much more modern uh, steering wheel. <laughs> That's for the car, right? <laughs> so yeah, <coughs> you can see here. Um, the only thing that makes it a little bit dope, a little bit of dope because of this funnel and its engine. <laughs> I know that, but so uh, yeah, that. That's all, all about it. It's a one nice creation, and also 
thank you also for watching guys and please don't forget to like and subscribe and turn on that notification bell so you never miss a new video and maybe in the next prestige build I'm gonna show you the um, B BAS Alexa Battle Cruiser which is a a lot of which is, which is a, uh, a pre World War II base design battle cruiser. It's not that very big. It's not that um, it's not that very powerful. It's just your average looking um, uh, 1917 1917 dreadnought. So that's all about it. And this is Bits Battle Cruiser. See you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.